does solving a quadratic mean? So what we're going to be doing, all of my, all of my examples in this series are all going to be quadratic equations, but you're also going to work with quadratic functions as well. And there's just a really slight difference that I'll go over. So if I wrote a quadratic equation in my standard form, it would be y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. And the reason why we use our y and our x is, let's pretend, because we're going to have our x and our y axis. Now, if I was writing a quadratic function, it would look like this. f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Now, the only difference is rather than using a y-axis, I'm going to use an f of x axis. And that's really our, our, our only difference um, with them. So when I say solving, what we want to do is we want to be able to find the values of our x variables when our output or our y value is equal to zero. We want to find the values when our graph is going to cross the x-axis. So that's what we do. What we do is we set these equal, our y coordinate equal to zero. So say zero equals ax squared plus bx plus c, or say f of x is not equal zero, ax squared plus bx plus c. Now, we talked about a lot of different uh, algebraic ways to solve. We talked about factoring. We talked about the square root method. You could use completing the square. Um, and you could also use the quadratic formula. But all three of those are all going to be finding you the exact same thing. If you remember, each one of those, we're always solving for x. We're finding the values of x when our y equals 0. And we also took a look, when we graphed these in a different series, we looked at the different graphs. And I'll just do one with an arbitrary x, and, x and, or output and input axis. But we looked at, you know, what are those values of x when y equals 0? Right? And we talked about the different solutions that you can have. But what we want to do is remember, when my y value is equal to 0, that's right here. That's on this x-axis. When my f of x, that x of x axis, that's equal to 0, that's on this value. Right? That's x of f of x equals 0 because that's 1, that's negative 1. So 0 is right on this x-axis. Right? 1, negative 1. So 0 is right there. 1, negative 1, 0 right there. So when we're solving, what we're trying to do, and it just depends on, you know, if we're using a quadratic equation, right? We're trying to find, you know, the roots. If we're trying to use a quadratic function, we're trying to find uh, the zeros. You know, and it doesn't really matter what, how we're going to label them. What we're trying to do is really just find our values of x when um, our output value is equal to 0. And you can determine for a quadratic, there's three different types of solutions. We can have an equation where we have two different y-intercepts. I'm sorry, two different x-intercepts. We can have one where there's no x-intercepts, because this is going to go infinity to positive direction. And we can also have one where it's, um, there's only exactly one x-intercept. So there's different types of solutions, but when we're solving, that's exactly what we're doing. So when if I, so if your question says, you know, find the roots or find the zeros, all that really means is you're finding the values when your output value is equal to zero. And what that means graphically is you're just finding the x-intercepts of the graph. Hope that helps.